What's up, YouTube? Check out what I've been doing. Yeah, so, vases, vases. Uh, I'm gonna go with vases, because it sounds more elite. All of these, every single one, does not hold any water. So, that was a fail. You know what one does hold water though? That one right there. It's perfect in every way. <sighs> I tell you what, they've been all been printed on the A-Net A8. Every single one of them. With a nozzle, I modified myself at the house. So yeah, like I said, none of these hold water. We have a few more. <clears throat> and these, these, these all hold water. And you don't believe me? Well, this is holding water as evidenced by water not coming out. Oh, 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 let's keep going, let's keep going. Make sure I get the water in the shot for these naysayers. So if you're at all interested in seeing how these uh, hold water and how they all printed in under two hours on the ANET A8, Go ahead and stick around. I'm gonna open up Simplify 3D here. That's that's a different video. That's a different video right there, but that's okay. So we're gonna go into the processes. So what I've done here is I've made two profiles and I've used a variable settings wizard to establish when I'm going to start one profile to the other. So here's the profiles. This is a uh, for PTG, but I also made one for PLA. Uh, they're both basically the same. I did have more success though with PTG than I did PLA. This is the first profile. This is for the bottom, right? So if we go into here and we go to advanced, you can see it says stop printing at a height of 2.6 millimeters, right? So we have our layers set to 0.65 millimeters, even though, right? Even though the nozzle diameter is set to 1.2. All I did was I took a 1 16th inch drill bit and just drilled it out. Right, and the diameter of that out of that is something like 1.5. But if you set the filament diameter to 1.5, your stepper motor on your extruder cannot catch up to it to the point where it would just shake the the whole extruder head. Right, so it's getting real lumpy prints and everything. So what I've had to do is go into the profile and slow it way, way, way down. So we're printing at speeds of you know, 15 millimeters a second. The trick is we're doing four layers at a time, right? So technically it's like you're printing at 60 millimeters a second, but then multiplied out, it's like 360 millimeters a second, right? Because your width or your height is like 0.65, but your width is like one-ish. So all you need is a drill to drill out the nozzle and then a profile that works. Let's do this wine gourd thing. I like this. This is kind of cool. So with vases, um, they don't necessarily have to have a center uh, removed. You don't have to make them hollow. The slicer generally, when you set it to vase mode, it will uh, it will automatically only do one perimeter, right? Which generally makes kind of a flimsy vase if you only have 0.2 millimeter. Um, layers. Basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add another process and I'm going to set the second process to my PTG base 
1.3 VAS profile. And my first process is going to be my PETG 1.3. Right? So then when we prepare, it's going to ask us continuous printing, select all, say yes. So now we can go in and check it out. And so what's happening here is I have the Z height set below the build plate, right? So I'm bringing the nozzle down in the software. You may or may not have that situation. Um, you have to check that first before you go in or set Z to zero. Just make sure you do that because otherwise you could go into the bed. So I might just, if I post these profiles, I'll just switch that Z to zero. The extrusion width, I have it manually set to one millimeter and it's going to be extruding much more than that because there's going to be a sandwich effect on the layer, on the base, on the build plate. It's going to be much smaller than that, but, okay, it's going to be much smaller than that, but I want those to hit so we have a watertight seal, right? So when we go to print, we have one. This is the second layer. The first layer actually shows up underneath the build plate because I have such a Z height change. Okay, so a couple things with the vase mode with a thick nozzle. I had to play around with the um, extrusion multiplier seem to help quite a bit and the nozzle diameter so even though the nozzle diameter is actually like 1.5 millimeters with a 1 16th inch bit you really have to play around with that a little bit this is a pretty big one so that takes two hours and 46 minutes but you can also mess with the speed i did a couple of these at uh about 25 millimeters a second or something significantly cut the time down and also uh seemed to work fine didn't get too much shake on the extruder. Now, if you have a better extruder, right, if you've upgraded your ANET past kind of the stock ex direct drive extruder and you've done all this, that, and the other thing, I mean, you can push this quite a bit, quite a bit further. But that's about it. I'll post uh, the profiles down in the description down below. I will set the Z height to zero just in case somebody wants to try it. Um, I don't know where you're at with that. I'll set the scripts to a default setting because I run auto level uh, and it needs special scripts to start and everything and I don't want you guys to have any complications with that if you try the profiles. But I will post these and I'll put them down in the description below and please, please, please try different settings. Try messing with everything and make it better and if you make it better post down in the comments below this video or hit me up on Instagram or something like that and let me know. because. I had a real fun time with this, just burning through filament that I probably wasn't going to use.